Is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I'm not what do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Chicago, Illinois where we find a most annoying frauditor who finally gets arrested. There is justice after all. Let's sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Yeah, I'm okay. This the Chicago Housing Authority? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Almost all frauditors now say, oh, the door's wide open. Right. I tell you what, the gates to hell are wide open too. And they're just waiting for you, sonny boy. Now please, carry on. Okay. All right. Can I not film in here? Oh, I, are you a supervisor? No, I'm not. You're not? Yes. What uh, no, that's not true. Okay, so don't true. film me. I don't want to be filmed. I don't want to be in your camera. Okay, I mean, if maybe if you're gonna be rude, Neither did she. if you're gonna be rude about it, then I'm gonna record everything. Okay. Is something related that you need to I just had questions for any supervisor that's okay, that's present. So you will film me and somebody will come and check with you in a minute. But well, can you please contact camera elsewhere? Ma'am, if you, you if you keep telling me to do that, then I'm not going to do that. All right. I have a right. I have a right to record in public. I'm asking you okay. Not to film. Me okay. personally. Okay. Okay. So right. you at point that elsewhere. If you don't have any business with CHA. Okay. This frauditor is like a petulant child, isn't he? Well, if you tell me to do that, I'm going to keep doing it. That's because mommy and daddy didn't spend enough time with you when you were a child, and now you feel like you're entitled. You just need your ass kicked. That's what it really is. Do you have questions? You'll have to fill out for me. Please turn that camera off, sir. The, the, the more you... Okay, can you call security up upstairs? Okay. Did you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment to be here, ma'am. No, you don't. Yeah. You, you need some help, you can go ahead with your letter sheet okay. and please point that camera elsewhere. Actually, actually, that's why, that's part of the reason that I'm here, to to uh, do an employee conduct check. And uh, so far, you've, you've, um, you've, you've, you've proven me right. At me and tell me to get out of public property. That's that's when the camera stays on you, ma'am. What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? Please don't come in here. Can what? you step away? I asked you more than once not what? to film it. What's your name? Thank you. Happy day. Huh? This guy's a real brainiac. Every time he's gone into the city of Chicago, he's met with problems. Just like Goat Boy. That's why Goat Boy doesn't go into the city anymore. He goes to the suburbs. And now this guy's gonna have to learn the hard way too. He's gonna have to stay in the suburbs. But let's continue. So it seems like she um, asked for the security personnel. Um, we're going to wait around to see if they understand that members of the public have a right to be here and observe them. We are at the Chicago Public Housing Authority where they pretty much do whatever they want. A lady made some complaints and they um, threatened her with, ev with eviction. How's it going, sir? I'm uh, good. How are you? You want to record me as I'm speaking? I'm sorry? This is a private building. You're making people very uncomfortable. Who am I? At this point, this is a verbal trespass. We're going to have to ask you to leave. We refuse, which you might well. We'll just call CP and you'll just end up waiting until everything. May, may I have your name? I will not be answering any questions. How may I have your name? This time, do 
or trespassing. Do you work for the public? What the hell is wrong with this guy's microphone? Man, you need to get a better microphone or a cell phone or something, bro. My mama's cell phone is better than that. And what the hell? The man just told you you're trespassing. He told you to leave, and if you don't leave, he's calling the cops. That seems fairly clear to me. Of course, I'm not a frauditor, and I have common sense, and I would leave right now. Of course, I wouldn't be there in the first place to begin with. I am not a law enforcement officer. Okay. I do not need to provide you my name. Do you work for the public? Uh, I just said I, can, I am not a law enforcement officer. It doesn't I matter. Do not need to provide you any if you work for the public, you need to identify yourself when you engage a member of the public. This time you are trespassing. Okay. Please leave the building. This is public property. This is not public property. Listen. This building is privately owned. Okay, it's privately owned. This entity is public. Exactly. You but this building is privately you, owned. You, you just answered my question. This land is privately owned. I am telling you this is this public time property. This is trespassing. You can't trespass me from public property. If you call 911, you can feel free to stand around until they arrive. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this is not private property. Okay? You need to understand that. Wait, what you want, sir? The fact that you're ignorant about that is telling. It's telling. It might be a private building, but CHA, like you said, is a public entity. So that makes this space a public space. All right? Well, Sonny Boy is going to learn the hard way today. He said he can't be trespassed from a public space. Well, Sonny Boy, that is definitely wrong. And you're going to find out not only can you be trespassed, but you can be arrested in a public space. Let's roll that clip. Yep, just, um... Okay. Any reason why you came today? Just to see how you respond to members of the public that want to observe you during the course of your duties. And so far, you've proven that you have no idea what the right, what, what, what the rights of the members of the public are. Okay. Anytime you're willing to leave. I, I, I heard you the first time. Might be 15, 20 minutes before uh, CPD. I heard you the first time. You have a good day. Maybe they can educate you that I have a right to be here. No, no. They're going to ask you to leave as well. Okay. I'll, okay. We'll wait for them and, and see what happens. And be more professional. So why CHA this time? Oh, why CHA this time? Because CHA is a public entity. So you're just an auditor for all public agencies? I'm sorry? You're just an auditor for all public agencies? Every government agency. Huh? Yeah. Cool. Every government agency. Uh, well, you're perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, just stand by. Sounds good. Just try not to bother Oh, I, all I do is record. <laughs> People actually bother me. It's the other way around. Okay. Our fraud is a real smart ass, isn't he? got a real smart mouth, but he won't be so smart in a little while when the police arrive. Let's continue watching. What's your name again? Are you still not going to identify yourself, even though you're a public servant? Okay, I'm going to for you your name then. I can get your name. No, yeah, you can definitely. Right, but it, it's more professional to identify yourself to members of the public. I know you need to okay. answer your questions. You, but you, you at least have to identify yourself, so, we, I, so I know who I'm speaking with. I'm sorry? I do not need to answer your questions. That's your right. That's all right. I'm just saying it's unprofessional. That's all I'm saying. It's unprofessional. You can choose not to speak with me, of course, but that's unprofessional. I do you? Can you? Do you? Uh, can I have your name? Uh, no. I can have your name. Are you a public um, employee? I work on the But are you employed by the public? Was my he question. Which is public. Okay. Well, that's 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 all all you have to say. Mm -hmm. Right. He said he was with you. He didn't say he wasn't going to answer my question. I like frauditors that use FOIA as a weapon. We can use FOIA as a weapon too, frauditor. Here's his mugshot of him being arrested. And frauditor, you kept your identity secret for so long. You were so careful not to expose yourself. Just like Goat Boy. You've been exposed, frauditor. What? That, that's unprofessional. When you engage members of the public that pay your salary, you need to identify yourself. I'm sure it's in your policy to ID yourself to the public. You, you, you also need to have a badge. You also need to be wearing a badge on you. That's how we know that you're a public servant. For all I know, you could be any, anyone off the street. I can't identify you. You don't have an ID badge. How do I even know that you are who you say you are? Think about that for a second. This is why we do what we do. See how you guys respond to the people that pay your salary. Okay? Perfectly fine. We are your bosses. It's your absolute right to do what you're doing. Yeah. However, private building. Trespass. Public. Private building. Public entity. Private land. Once, once this private property rented the space to CTCHA, 
it becomes public. This is this is a lobby. This is a lobby. Now this Yehu is going to go back and forth with this man. Oh my God! Can you just please shut your mouth already? Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Let's get to the good part. Five minutes later. So just so you also understand. Okay. I don't approve you recording me. Oh, you're in public. You have no expectation of privacy in public. Don't you know that? No. But can I record you? Oh, you're you can. But but the thing is, oh, absolutely. There are cameras here. But the difference is. Mm -hmm. You're, you're in your public capacity, and whatever you do becomes public record. Right. So when you do that, I'm going to request that. I'm going to FOIA request that, and you're on notice now. Do not delete that when you record me. Okay. You're on notice. So you don't mind me recording you? I'd just like to show the police the video. Yeah, they're here. And why is that? May, may I have your name first? Dolan? Sergeant Dolan. Yeah. Uh, what's your badge number? 177. Good to meet you. Yeah, you can't, if there is need to leave, you have to leave. Sir, this is public space. Okay? The, the only way they can ask me to leave a public space is if I violate the law. Okay? If, if, if I commit a crime, that's when you can trespass someone from public property. Simply being here recording and exercising my First Amendment right to record public employees, and the courts have established that. We can come in and record you and every one of them during the course of their duties. Predators always claim that they're trying to educate people on their rights. Well, today, Sonny Boy is the one that's going to get the edumacation. That's right, edumacation. So just because they don't like it, doesn't mean it, they have the right to kick me out of here. Well, unfortunately, okay. when I gave you the warning that you're not allowed to go into an employee area, you did. Sir, this is a public so space. No, 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 no. This, this is a, Only certain parts are public. Certain okay. parts are not. Okay, okay. If, you, if you're going to go that way, for any space in public to be deemed inaccessible to the public, it has to be clearly marked restricted. If it's not marked... Well, I, I think the, the employees are telling you. Oh, no, no, no. It has to be officially yeah, marked. Sir, it has sir, to be officially if marked. If you don't leave, okay. you're going to get arrested. I'm going to okay. get arrested? Yeah. For being, in the, public, sign complaints for, uh, for being in the public space? Yeah. This guy is not the sharpest knife in the drawer, is he? Oh, if I don't leave, I'll be arrested? Well, that's what the cop just said. Now, what do you want to do, sonny boy? You want to leave or you want to be arrested? If you're free to go, you're free to stay, right? And he's going to stay. That way I have but the right to be? not a public space. Where you went was not public. Where? That's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll, where, where's, where, where's, where's the restriction? Where's, where's the okay, signs that says restricted? That's the only way you can restrict my movement in a public space. It has to be, they have to be a sign that says it's restricted. Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead and violate my rights under USC, USC uh, United States Code. One you, you cannot construe a constitutionally protected activity no, into a crime. Squad, I need a uh, two-man unit over to... And uh, yeah, get, get your supervisor, please. Uh, we had a subject uh, for criminal trespass to CHA property. Get, get your supervisor. I need your supervisor. I am the supervisor. Uh, get your supervisor. I'm officially I asking for that, your supervisor. Uh, I don't have anything to put off. I highly doubt if the sergeant's going to call the lieutenant or the captain to the scene. This is Chicago. The police have more pressing matters. Oh, maybe the supervisor will come and he can assist with the arrest and put you in the back of the squad car, sonny boy. The courts have ruled that you cannot construe a constitutionally protected activity into a crime. I am exercising my First Amendment right to record in public. And you, you have just threat, threatened me with arrest for exercising my rights. So the sergeant here thinks that he can uh, take me to jail for exercising my First Amendment right. And um, he will learn the hard way. He will learn the hard way that he cannot do that. Did you call your supervisor? You have to call your supervisor when I ask for one, sir. Hello. Yeah, may I have your name and your badge number? Well, there you have it, good people. Stupid is as stupid does, and I've been waiting for this yahoo to get arrested for a long time because he sure has a smart mouth. Yeah, buddy, I'm happy. I'm so ecstatic. I'm ready to bust. No doubt about it. I hope you have fun in the slammer, sonny boy. Hey, while we're all here having fun, let's take a look at another yahoo just doesn't listen so good. Roll that clip.
Today's video takes us to the great state of Washington where we find a Yahoo who wants to audit the Armed Services Office located in a shopping plaza. Why? Because it's there. But he gets kicked out. Man. You gotta hit the silver button. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, well, actually, like you have the space because I know Woodley's has zero space there. I mean, you got a nice couch. I, I admire that. I yeah, yeah, I got space. Hey, hey, all right. Go Army. I'm here to join. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's age discrimination. How are you guys doing? Yes, I am. Okay, what, who are you? I'm just a private citizen coming in and check out the Armed Forces Recruitment Center today. Okay. Now this Yahoo has nothing better to do than bother the men and women who serve our country and protect our American freedoms. There's something wrong with you, sonny boy, and he said he's retired military. So you should know better, you stupid Yahoo! Start with the Army because everybody knows the Army's best, the rest are just backup. Really? Right? For sure is the best. You know, that's right. Um, so what are you recording for? Uh, I'm just recording to exercise my First Amendment right to come into a public agency and okay. just look around, request information, and see what's Gosh. going on. Well, um, I'm Station Manager. Okay. My name is Sergeant Persephone. How you doing, Sergeant? And I'm asking you that you turn the camera off. Okay. Have you ever had a First Amendment auditor come in? Look, sonny boy, as a retired Army man, you've just been asked by a staff sergeant to leave, to turn off your camera and leave. And you want to stay in the air and debate with this woman. What is wrong with frauditors? They really are a few cans short of a six pack to say the very least. Uh, no, I have not. Are you familiar with what First Amendment auditing is? I am not. It's a group of people we practice our constitutional right mm -hmm. to go into any public agencies, public buildings, whether it be federal, state, uh, anything accessible to the public. Okay. And just video, uh, take photographs, request information, look around. We're usually gone in five or ten minutes. Does that sound like something's going to be an issue? Or yeah. You do understand it's a constitutionally protected activity. Okay, can I see some ideas, sir? Um, uh, no, you cannot. Okay, I'm going to ask yeah. you to leave. Okay. okay. Um, I'm not going to leave because you guys did buzz me in. Now, this is where all frauditors make a mistake. When you're asked to leave, you must leave. If you don't, that's considered trespassing. And the uh, sergeant just asked you to go. No, I'm not going to go because I was buzzed in. I think you should be buzzed out, too. Matter of fact, I think you need a knockout. And uh, I'm in a public federal Can agency. The police, please? the police are going to tell you they can't come down, but if they do, they'll just show up. They'll probably stand here with me while I'm standing in he here. You understand I don't have to show ID. You do understand, Sergeant? Yeah. Okay. Sir, I'm trying to make um, you guys look good. That's why I came into the Army first. Okay. Sir. So we've had some issues before with terrorist threats. Right, I understand And that. not having an ID when you come into this building and, and coming in with a camera right. is a security issue. Right. Um, now, did anyone notice that our frauditor attempted to predict the future? He said the police would come and do nothing or maybe they're not going to come at all. Oh, they're going to show up, sweetheart, and you're going to leave. Case closed. We're going to contact the police and we're going to contact our right. higher authority um, just so I'm not putting any of my guys in danger. Right. So if I ask that you um, at least sit up there. Well, I'll, I'll say I'll stay in the publicly way. accessible area right here. Okay. But you do understand this is a constitutionally protected activity. Okay. I go into recruitment centers around the U.S. We do this all the time. The police aren't okay. even going to show up. But uh, uh, <laughs> Are you on the phone with them, Sarno? Oh, yeah. Try to make you guys look good okay. today. You got a page, sir? What's that? You got a page? Oh, page. Look, Sonny Boy, if you're trying to make them look good, why don't you leave and allow them to do their job? Matter of fact, why don't you leave and go find a job of your own? Now there's a thought. Uh, we don't give that out while we're working. Uh, we don't get that out while, you're, while we're working, but if you give me a business card. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can text you if you give me a business card. I'll text you the website information, and uh, you guys can take a look at the video. Okay. So now the journalist is trying to make some small talk with the soldiers, but it's not going to work out so well. 
because they're going to largely ignore him. And this is a long, drawn-out video, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit here and there. Let's roll the clip. Five minutes later. Hello, come on. What's going on today? How are you doing, sir? officer? How are you doing? Just so you everyone's aware, I'm wearing a body right. camera and I'm recording. Okay. So it seems to be the issue. Well, I'll let them explain he it. Leave. Yeah. He won't say who he is, he won't show ID, and he has a camera in here. And, and Sergeant, I explained why I was in here. You want to brief me on that real quick? You can. In your own words. I'm a First Amendment auditor. Okay. Are you familiar with that? Not really. Oh, okay. It's a group of us. We go out into any federal, state, county, city buildings. I do apologize, officer, but the lad has no life. So he watched a few YouTube videos and he said, you know what? I could be a First Amendment frauditor just as well. He picked up his mama's camera and here he is today. So again, I apologize anything publicly accessible okay and we enter the building we video we take photographs we request information get brochures and stuff okay. basically we practice our first amendment right which is a constitutionally protected activity yeah. this facility here you know it's a strip mall basically but because they lease this office space from the mall it allows any citizen to walk onto the property and come in with a camera and film Oh, yes, indeed. We owe these freedom fighters a debt of gratitude because without them, we wouldn't be able to walk into places like the Marines and the Army and the Air Force, pull out our camera and begin recording soldiers trying to recruit other soldiers. Oh, man, that's brilliant. Okay. Now, if I walked over to Hobby Lobby or one of these other things, start filming, I could be trespassed. Yes. But I can't be legally trespassed from this facility right here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that. Sure. Right. Because I don't you know don't. how that works. Because I know you that gotcha, federal brother. property kind of gets weird, and I don't know if gotcha, this falls under federal purview. Right. So I'll double check with uh, my partner on that. Thank you. And then we'll see. Well. All right. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. What's going on? All right. Gotcha, brother. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna call my supervisor and make sure. We gotta tell you something, frauditor. Hobby Lobby might not be a bad idea for you because then you could find something to do. Oh, they have a good many things over there you can take up. Yeah, painting, crafting, uh, good stuff, man, to keep you busy and stop this frauditing nonsense. There is some legitimacy to what saying. I don't know if that applies because it's the same thing. Like, on, you can't just go into any base and do anything that you, you know, but with this being a public. Sir, do you mind talking to us out here? Yeah, no problem. Look come on out. Well, are, are you going to buzz me back in if I step out? Sergeant, I'm going to take your word on it. Are you going to buzz me back in if I step outside? Yes or no? Well, sir, I'm, I, you are not welcome Sergeant. in this building. Well, right that's now, not very until kind I can to say. Find out. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys in here, Where, if you don't what, mind. Or otherwise, it, it is considered a controlled access, but they did buzz me in, which gave me the right to enter. Keep in mind, folks, that crazy people don't know they're crazy. Yeah, that's a fact, because this frauditor is definitely out of his bloody mind. He thinks it's just so important to be inside this office because he paid for it. His tax dollars bought this office. Whatever. I step back out, they're not going to buzz me back in, and I'll be locked out. Doesn't that kind of indicate something to you? Excuse me? Doesn't that kind of indicate something to you? Well, it indicates that they're not aware of our First Amendment rights to enter a federal, state, any public accessible area and film and request information. Um, I'm just trying to make sure all police department can be audio and video recorded. Thank you, sir. I'm here because they don't want you on the property. I gotcha. I actually would have already left, but they called you guys, so I stayed and waited. But, uh, I, I just want them to know that we do have the right to enter and film. I don't know about anybody else, but it seems fairly creepy to me just to walk around with a camera and record people at random. Yeah, that seems creepy. What are you going to do with that footage, frauditor? You're going to do some unspeakable things with that footage? And then I'll be out of here. That's it. This we go out and educate people. Um, I'm a little surprised that First Amendment Auditor hasn't come in here yet. Um, I go into these centers all over the U.S. We just came back up from Las Vegas. We just got back to Washington. Pretty we do much, this. Been I'm doing pretty this much problem. done, but I just want to let everyone know that a person can come in with a camera and film, and I want them to recognize that right, and I don't want to be run out by the police. In other words, when you guys— ran out. No, I understand you that. You have told them. 
Exactly. What we is there do. Anything else you do? No. What we do basically is the minute you guys leave, we'll wait another minute or two, then we leave, just so it doesn't make the appearance that you guys ran us out of here. Oh yes, indeed. The victory lap, if it were. Yeah, that's where they walk around the perimeter of the inside of the building and say, "Look at me. The police didn't make me leave. I'm still here." What do you think about those apples? Does that make sense? Right, but you're okay. also being recorded saying that you're not being ran out and you've already accomplished right. your mission. Right, but we do that specifically because we don't want to give the appearance to anybody that may be outside watching, to any individuals in here, that we were run out. Thank you. Okay, did you guys hear that, I hope? <laughs> Basically, the next person that comes in with a camera, whether they're a first minute auditor, any citizen, in fact, you don't even have to be a U.S. citizen, you can be an illegal immigrant with a camera. And they can walk in here and film. And uh, part of what we do is just educate people in different buildings, different facilities, that that's one of our constitutionally protected rights. Frauditor, nobody cares about your babbling. Why don't you just leave? You already made your point. The hell is wrong with these guys? Oh, they just need to pound it into submission. It's like a sledgehammer on top of their head. Pound them right into the sidewalk. Would you guys fight and defend that freedom for all of us to do this? And oh, we appreciate over here. Ah, uh, they We're solicited a close. Right close. Um, so you must leave. Okay. You, you understand what you did, though, what they did? They solicited an We're early closure. Sure you must leave yeah. the yeah. office right now. Right. You, they would basically just for people watching this video, either you or they solicited an early closure, you cannot and that's not okay. You are making this right. uncomfortable for my guys. We don't know who you are. I'm I doubt. You to leave I doubt anyone here is uncomfortable, Sergeant. I'm asking you to leave. Yeah, the I'm going to leave closed. now if you're closing. We're close. However, if I if I leave and I stand out there and you let another person that's in while more, I'm standing there, than, big sure, problems. How many more times will the sergeant have to tell this idiot that the office is now closed? That's what's wrong with frauditors. They're told that something is closed, yet they want to remain there and debate. Yeah, the ego is your enemy, frauditor, no doubt about it. But let's continue. Go ahead. Hey, you guys, Don't thank you me, guys. Sir. Take care. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm not threatening you. <laughs> Come on. Okay, guys. So, what they did is they solicited an early. Bless you. Thanks, guys. Hey, nobody wants to give me a business card? Real quick, you, you guys want to watch a video? Just show me a business card. Yeah. Sir, we're closed. Can you get Okay, out of you can't let anybody else in if you're closed, ma'am. Okay, sir. All right, sorry. Gosh. Okay, guys, so what they did is they solicited, with the, yeah, with the help of the police, an early closure of the facility. And what that means is they, they do have the right to close. And when they do close, they can ask anyone in there to leave. However, that's not okay. And we don't like that. And basically, it's a roundabout way of violating our First Amendment rights. Well, there you have it, good people. Stupid is, stupid does, and this lad is definitely out there on left field, stupid as he wants to be. Why would you go into an armed forces center anyway? He said he was a retired army. Shouldn't you know better? I don't get it. Man, I just don't get it. You're that desperate for money that you got to go out and be a YouTube frauditor and do these things. It just doesn't make sense to me, good people. Well, what do I know? I'm not a frauditor. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always. Thanks so much for stopping by, sonny boy. Yeah, I hope you get a real job one day, boy. Cheers to that. It is going to be really, 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 really hard to get through this month. I'm trying to get my whole life together right now. I'm in touchdown position, just like a goalpost. Bruh. You don't know the law. I can be within 10 feet of any traffic stop in the entire world. What are you here for? To record. For what reason? Um, you got to have a reason. You come in and say, I'm going to wake up today. I'm going to go down to the courthouse. I'm just going to start filming panoramic views for no reason. And this is the first cruise. This is your job. job. Yes, it is. You saw it. No, you perfect. took an oath. To uphold our rights yet you don't even know jack shit about that oath you then swore you can't remove me put. nothing says you nothing says i have consensual to conversation over shut up don't touch me i'm trying not to be just hit. Watch don't you touch me hit don't touch me i know how to walk clearly not you'll put some tape up i'm coming back over there this is your last warning before you're arrested for obstructing 
Okay, so under threat of arrest. Sir, I already explained under it to you. Under threat of arrest. If you took another step forward, sir, therefore you're under arrest right now for obstructing. Put your hands behind your back. Please, Please don't touch me. Please, okay. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. You don't understand Please that, Please do sir. not touch me. Please do not touch you can't me. come into the building. Please do not touch me. It's hey, hey, so uh, could you guys let my viewers know what the Third Amendment is? Anybody? Anybody? I'm a driving you need vehicle. Anything from me. I'm a driving vehicle. Well, you need anything from me. I'm a driving vehicle. Well, I'm doing it, and there's nothing you or this officer can do about it. Really? Really. Okay. Don't touch me. I'm not me. touching you. Slow Trust me, out. you're not going to touch me, bro. Gonna, Why are you so touching me? Why are you all touching me? I want your business card too. You're coming up to me. I'm gonna afford request that too. What are you arresting me for? Well, when you go to the station, I'll tell no, you no. the charges. You gotta tell me now, bud. Each public body shall prominently display at each of its administrative or regional. Does not say website. Why you are here? This is our first time. Why you are here? I don't answer your questions, brother. Why you cannot answer my questions? I choose not to. Oh, get your hands off. Get your hands off me. You're assaulting me now. I'm gonna be under arrest? No, that's a summons. No, no, you're not putting me under arrest right now. I'm not talking to you. You're you're dismissed. You're dismissed. I'm telling you leave here now. Nope. I'm telling you leave now. I'm telling you no, sir. Well you call some call somebody else. You better call somebody else. Call a judge. Call a judge. Do not re uh, comply with my request. I will arrest you and you will be removed. Turn around. Guys, for taking me into custody, do not turn off my camera equipment. Yes, you do. You're my public servant, sir. This is a public area. This is no, no. It's my property, you sir. Must, you this must, is you a public can, area. Not record in the. This is a public place, area. Is not. No, the the so Supreme Court's already no. decided on this. Give me my name and give me your name on a card right now. Same offer goes to you. I will slap on your face. You slap on my face. I'll have a lawsuit. I want you to call your supervisor. You're under arrest. Go ahead, identify and go on the other side of the tape. Anything I can say to get you to comply with? Yes, this. just get, identify and go okay, on the so other side right of the tape. I'm placing you under arrest for Penal Code 148, subsection A. Okay, cool. Subsection one. Uh, okay, cool. I dare get you. out of here I now. I dare you to do it. What is your name? Now. What is your name? I told you now. Leave now. He's already threatened to rip my window out. I, I got to roll it up around you. I, I don't want to do that. Yo, you're gonna. This is gonna be a Fed case, buddy. I'm telling you, you're messing with the wrong guy here. It is not in your face. It is not in your face. Who are you? Only under the threat of arrest. Now, let me ask you, if I am arrested... I'm not having any more conversation. You're either leaving or getting arrested. I can say whatever I want here. No, I can tell can. him. I absolutely can. You want to arrest me and we can take it to court you and find out? Be... Dude, you're a coward, bro. Just back off. Why don't you ask the property owners to ask me to back off? This is private property. Do you own it? Are you threatening me with violence? I'm telling you. Look, don't tell me what to do, man. Call your sergeant. What's your name? What is your name? You're What's just, your name? You just threatened to slap him. What's your name? My name? Your boss. Uh, enjoy your walk of shame. Have a good day. And that, my friends, is how you handle police officers in America. Tell them to leave me alone that because I need to conduct my investigation on this, uh, on this property without, uh, inter without anybody interfering. Why are you doing this to me, sir? You're really going to arrest me for this? You're going to arrest me for this? Get out. To, this is personal property. Here they're to, talking about their personal You need to de-escalate a little bit. I don't know what the need to de-escalate. You I, came I, here I with one purpose only. This guy just walked up within a foot of me trying to run into me on purpose. Not doing anything wrong. You're no. driving. You have a suspended license. Hello, my sweet peeps, my lovelies. If you don't know, honey, if you don't know, you're not qualified to take on a man. You're not strong enough to take on a man. Any man could beat the shit out of you. Ma'am, you need to leave the building. No, I don't have to leave. I'm not doing Ma'am, you need to get up and leave the building. What? Why? Why are because you being so rude? you have no business here. Slip you on the I, face, my fuck. I, I dare you. I dog dare you. Oh, you punk sir. little bitch. You're assholes. 